and bats finally came alive for that O's team that really had been searching for an offensive explosion like that. You think that explosion maybe peters out, or is that going to translate the back-to-back home losses for the Sox here today? How are you betting it, man? And welcome in. Thank you. Uh, yeah, if you remember my videos before the season started, my top American League team to go over was the Baltimore Orioles, and I still feel that way about them. Um, Jackson Holiday. It's Jackson Holiday Day for Baltimore. Um, obviously, Matt Holiday's son, and uh, he they sent him down earlier, yeah. and a lot of people were wondering what was going on. They gave some of the veteran guys a chance, but they just haven't played as well. So now Jackson Holiday will be making his debut. Don't know if he plays today. Haven't seen the lineups. It's a night game, but uh, I would expect him to be in there. But they've got to worry about a little bit of rain and a little bit of cold here in Boston. 22% chance of rain, 54 degrees tonight in Boston. Um, So we are going to have possible delays in this one, but it'll be a long day. And uh, but they've got to get this game in. And uh, we're going to take a look at this game, Baltimore and Boston. Baltimore has a clear lesser starter in on the mound in this one. Uh, Cole Irvin, when looking at a stat cast page, we see a lot of blue, and that's not good. Uh, hard hit rate of 57.9%, expected slugging of 680, and only a 12.5 strikeout percentage. That's compared to Cutter Crawford, who's been terrific. Uh, those same categories, he has a hard hit rate of 26.9%, which is 31% less than Irvin. Expected slugging percentage of 210, which is 470 better than Irvin, along with a 28.6 strikeout rate. Now, we like this Baltimore team. As I mentioned, I think they're going to be the team to beat in the American League. But uh, the value in this one seems to be on the Red Sox, a team who looks a lot better now than they did coming into the season. There was a lot of criticism for Boston, especially in the pitching staff. And uh, they've done nothing bad from a pitching standpoint. The pitching coach has been terrific. Um, What I like about Boston, I've said this for years, if everybody who makes it to the major leagues can hit a fastball, why is your predominant pitch a fastball? Boston's pitching coach has got them throwing more off-speed pitches. Uh, league as a whole is down on uh, the uh, fastball this year, and it's a smart thing. So Boston's the first to be able to do this, and they're doing it with success. There's value here with the Red Sox here, although I don't think they're the team that Baltimore is. In this game with this starting lineup, I like Boston in this price range. I think it's a pretty good bet. 